welcome back. It is my March favorites. I know. I'm like ridiculously late. Like it's ridiculous. But my excuse is I don't have one. Really not good at like monthly favorites anymore only because I do them weekly and so then when it comes time for monthly I always have this like dilemma in my head like should I make a Friday favorites a monthly favorites? No because I had a lot of favorites this week. Maybe I should. Maybe it's too many favorites videos and then I don't know what happens. I end up just being late to the, to the monthly favorites. But I had a bunch of favorites this month that I thought were overall favorites that some I hadn't talked about in weekly favorites so I really wanted to give a whole video dedicated to my March favorites. So here we go. First things first, the Laura Mercier Artist Palette. I love this thing. Literally it is one of my favorite palettes. I've talked about this and the Laura Pro palette, the original one, are probably two of my very favorite most used palettes. That one I had, the Lorac one I haven't used in a while either. But I pulled this out because there was a new palette released by Laura Mercier called Extreme Neutrals, I believe. I'm really excited about that palette, but it reminded me, hello, you have the Laura Mercier palette that you love, the original. So I've been using this all month. I absolutely love this. It's what's on my eyes today. The reason I like this is because I find that you can get like a really good sort of like warm look with these colors right here, but then you can add in the purples, get like a more cooler look. I like it because it has the shade Vanilla Nuts, and how can you not be happy when you're saying an eyeshadow like Vanilla Nuts. I mean, who names an eyeshadow that? I don't know, but I'm an infant and I like to laugh at stuff like that. So, it's a really nice like matte cream shade, very, very pigmented, great for the brow bone. It has this color Sparkling Dew, which has a little bit more of a sheen to it. I like to use that as a highlight. It's a subtle highlight. It would be great if you have mature skin because it's not too frosty, but just a really, really pretty color. Other favorites of mine are obviously this color that I've hit pan on. You know I have to love a shadow to hit pan on it, and I love this color. It's Fresco. It's the perfect mauve color. It doesn't look like it's that pigmented on the finger, or that sounds dirty, but when you put it through your crease, it's a very, very pigmented color. It adds a, a nice transition color. And don't get fooled by the thought that you can just go ham because that, that's not, honestly not a color that you can go ham with because it, it does have like amazing pigmentation and it's very, very buildable. What I love about it is it's a super creamy matte and it just, these shadows just blend incredibly. Uh, the reason that I absolutely love this palette are because of these purple shades. They're super pigmented. They're really nice and wearable. You have this like matte color called Violet Ink and then you have a deep dark brown color called Espresso Bean. I love doing like a really rich smoky eye using that color instead of black all over the lid. And then I take this color called Truffle right here. I don't know why I keep closing this palette. It's like pointless. I keep talking about it. This color right here, which is a nice rich warm brown. So I love this palette. If you're still shopping the VIB or is it the Rue? I don't, I'm not quite sure, but the VIB sale at Sephora, if you're still shopping that sale, pick this palette up. I think that you'll really like it. It's a great investment. It's definitely a staple palette for me. Okay, the effort that I just went to clean this hopefully is appreciated, but this is a product that gets dirty. This has been a long, long, like two year time favorites of mine. My friend Emily from Lisette's Beauty, she would she recommended this a long time ago and I literally have never turned back. This is my third tube of it. I use it every single day. It's the First Aid Beauty Eye Duty Triple Remedy Instantly Brightens, Depuffs and Smooths. You guys, this is amazing. You have to trust me and get this. I have never noticed anything work instantly before than this. This works instantly and it also has long-term results. It's just that perfect thing that if you're looking for a pick-me-up but you don't really want to put on concealer, this is great. You can use this and nothing else. Also, if you want to use less concealer because you feel like maybe you have a little bit of more fine lines under your eyes and you just don't want to use so much concealer because it's been settling in your lines, which is, hello me. So 
I use this and it just gives you that brightened look and you need less concealer. This is a great, great product because it has this metal tip right here and it is like a salmon color. So like it says, it instantly brightens and smooths under your eyes and it really does instantly brighten when I put it under my eyes. Like I said, because of that salmon color, it almost like color corrects but casually it blends in beautifully and it just leaves my under eyes feeling refreshed. A lot of days that I'm just going for like the natural look at home, but I want to look well rested and I want to have that pick me up under my eyes. I believe this has caffeine in it, so it kind of like instantly like, you know, wakes you, makes you look way more awake and it smooths, depuffins, depuffins, is that a word? Depuffs. I like depuffins better though, it sounds cuter. It depuffins under your eyes and just makes your, if you've, if you've gotten less sleep, you need this because it's your friend and it only does good things for you. So I like to use products that only do good things for me and this is one of them. Okay, I only have two lip products to talk about but they're two very, very important products. The first is a lip liner. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat and this is in Iconic Nude. My friend Brianna from her channel is Brianna Stanko. She was talking about this and I was like, yes, I have to get that. She said it was, I love these. What the? Oh no, there is a woodpecker out there. Him and I will go round and round. This can't happen. Okay, she was saying that this is like her number one lip liner because these lip liners, they like literally, they're called lip cheats for a reason. They literally cheat the lip line to make you look like that's what your lip line looks like as well as this color is just like the perfect nude shade. I love it because it's not too brown and it's not too pink. It really is that perfect, uh, perfect iconic nude. So just lining my lips and filling them in with a little bit of gloss has been what I've been doing all month. And then a pro another product that I've been loving, and I honestly have been going without a lot of lip product because I've just been wearing this. And I know I've talked about this before, but it seriously deserves like a million more mentions. This is the Best Damn Lip Mask. That's the name of it. This is Nicole Guerrero's um, lip treatment or her line. The Best Damn Beauty is her line. And I love this. This is like, if you don't like it has a slight rose scent, but I wouldn't say that it's an overpowering scent. That's not necessarily what I smell when I smell it, but it is there. Um, it has an interesting scent, which I'm not sure everyone will love, but I don't hate it. This is a very, very hydrating lip mask, but what I love about it is it has a creamy pink, and almost, I'm not gonna say opaque, but a nice creamy pink color that when I wear it on the lips, it just gives that like baby pink look, and I mean, I think this is enough. This is like more pigmented than some of my lip glosses. And it's a lip treatment. So I wear this overnight. I wear it all during the day. I wear it prior to putting on my makeup. This is just a really great product. I find it really hydrates my lips, feels comfortable on my lips, and I love the pink color that it gives off. As you can see, like it's that creamy um, baby pink color and it looks good on the lips. It doesn't look like too baby pink. It has like enough sheerness to it with that creamy milky consistency. It's just really pretty. It makes your lips look nice and juicy. So I love this product. Uh, I know that was like a really long wait for this product. I don't know if that's the same anymore. Um, but I will leave it linked down below. Hopefully you guys can get your hands on it because it is as good as it says. It is the best damn lip mask. Okay, next up is a blush that I haven't used in a while, but I decided to pull out recently. It is the Dior. This is the Rosy Glow Blush in the color 01 Petal. Healthy Glow Awakening Blush. This is a frightening looking color, I admit, but this is one of the most natural looking blushes you'll ever wear. It looks different on everyone. It gives your cheeks just a really beautiful, natural, healthy glow. I know that looks frightening, but when you put it on, like I wonder if I can put a little bit on right now. When you put it on, it just gives that like more, I always just do it like a little bit of a brush and it just gives your, your cheeks that like, 
almost doll-like look, but not in an overdone way, like just a very healthy, nice, light look. I love it, so I just, you know, kind of brush it on over whatever I kind of have going on. This is light enough, and it kind of is sheer enough. Like, it would blend out, and like I said, just give that really healthy look to your skin. I love this, and it's one of those blushes, since it is so pigmented and looks different on everyone, a like buying it would be a good value because it would last a really long time. This isn't one of those that you're just gonna really quickly go through because it's so natural looking that it just takes a ton and ton and ton to build it up. It's like it, a dusting blush and it just gives you that like awake color. So I just love this and like I said, I've had it for a really long time but I just recently pulled it out this month and have been enjoying it. Okay, next up, I know I've talked about this before but I've kind of gone back to using powders again. I have this Anastasia Brow Pro Palette. Now they sent me this a really long time ago and it is their brow powders and I love these. This has every single shade of brow powders that they carry which is perfect if you are a makeup artist, if you're doing anyone's makeup. Every time anyone ever asks me, my friends, or anything to like do their makeup, I always bring this because I think powders are a little bit more forgiving on um, eyebrows and they're a little bit easier to work with if you're someone who's new and like I think a pencil can be very intimidating to someone. So using a powder just gives the feeling that it can be dusted away if you make a mistake. and. These are, like I said, just really, really forgiving, but they do stay on my eyebrows all day. So I go between the taupe color because it has like the division of each. So I go between taupe and blonde, and I just use the darker part of the taupe to do the majority, like the body of my brow, and then I use the lighter side, and then sometimes part of the blonde to do the front of my brows. I really, really like these. Like I said, I find that they stay in my eyebrows all day, and I just really like the... Um, I feel like they're just more forgiving on my eyebrows and recently I like trimmed up too much of my eyebrows. They looked sparse. They look crazy. So if you ever catch a picture or a snap of me at the end of the day, it's like my eyebrows are doing something funky. Like just ignore me because I'm having like an eyebrow crisis right now. So whatever I can do to keep my eyebrows looking all right, I'm going to do it. So I've kind of gone back to powder. I swear this wasn't planned, but... I got another palette from Anastasia, um, the contour kit. I went back to the original contour kit. I have been really trying out a whole bunch of different contours, and you know there's always new products coming out, but I haven't really shown a ton of love to this palette. You know what I also like this palette for? This makes a really great eyeshadow color, these two do. I really like them as like all of her eyeshadows with my MAC Give Me Sun that makes a really pretty eye. But anyways, I have been using this to contour. I use the middle shade and this shade. Um, to contour and I've really been liking it. I like the way that it looks. It's pigmented enough and I really like the color. And then also I've been using this to set under my eyes. I'm not going to lie, this is a little bit yellow for under my eyes. Uh, it's just, it's kind of dark for me right now to be quite honest. Let me try and give you a swatcheroo of these contour shades. I don't know if that's going to make a difference, but I just really like that shade right there. I find that it doesn't make me look too orange and it doesn't look too cool. It's that perfect contour shade. So I've really been enjoying this and yeah, I guess while the sale is going on right now if you want it, I know, I think Sephora does carry these. I'm pretty sure they do. So this is the original contour kit. I know they did have a light and a medium or whatever, but this, or like a lighter and a darker. I don't know. This is the original one though. So that is it for my March favorites. I hope you guys had a wonderful month and an even better April. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, leave some of your favorites down below. You know I love hearing them. And I'll see you all in the next video. Mwah.